Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Esme. And I'm Roger. And, and welcome, welcome to Roger and Esme Vlogs. So yes, guys, good day, good day to all. So today's topic is why some Filipinas choose a Pinoy even though they've already been cheated. Yes, they still choose a Pinoy boyfriend or husband. Why? Oh, why? Well, that would be really interesting. So before we uh, discuss the topic, uh, we would like to thank you all, especially to our old and new subscribers. For uh, new viewers, please consider subscribing our channel. True. So um, again, guys, the topic is why some Filipinas would still choose a Pinoy even though that they've been cheated on. So, the topics or the points that we'll be discussing is first, culture. Next is distance. Next is communication. And the last is personality. So, let's discuss first, culture. Okay, culture. Well, which in fact, um, we have the same culture, right? And it's easy to mingle. There's no adjustment. And uh, even though you are living in a different city, but you can easily adapt, right? Yeah, because there's no major adjustment because you're both Pinoy, so you're both Filipino. So I would say culture would be the main reason why um, Filipinas would still choose Pinoys because um, they have the same outlook. They have the same um, perspective. Yes. There's no major adjustment. Correct. And in addition to that, aside from the culture, the the barrier, like the language barrier. Some Pinais, they're afraid to to speak or to communicate with foreign men. So True. that's why even though they're cheated, they ha have had an experience or bad experience, they still choose um, Pinoy boyfriend or husband. Yes, because it's not a major adjustment, and at the same time, the the language is just the same, so they would not have any problems with it. Correct. So next is um, the uh, distance. distance. Yes, the distance. So, as we all know, distance is also one of the major things that you can actually know a person. You can physically see a person because of distance. So, why mostly Pinais would choose Filipino Pinoys is because they're just there. You can see them directly. You can... You can um, you can say hello, hi, you can see them physically. So you don't really need to go to another island. You don't need to go to another country just to mingle, just to talk. So you can easily see them in person. Like um, if you're chatting or texting them or him, sorry, him, uh, you, can, you can just meet in like a, a specific location <laughs> yes or any in addition to that if your boyfriend uh, living in a different island or city so for sure it's easy for you to 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 set a date and uh, or to arrange time not unlike if you are or if her boyfriend is uh, living from or other country so you need to wait like for how many months or years some um, and then some Pinais, they don't like long distance relationship. Yes, it, because as we all know, Pinais are really affectionate. They, they want to um, have physical attachment to their partners. Like they, they really want to, to show their feeling to the partners and, and try to, to see them in person. Yes, and my observation also, even if uh, her boyfriend living in different city, they really find ways to, to meet, 
each other. So, uh, matter of fact, so Pinays, they don't really like, or some Pinays, they don't really like a uh, long-distance relationship. Yes. So, aside from distance is communication. Yes, communication. Uh, like I said earlier, um, the, the language barrier. So, if you are like have a uh, Pinoy boyfriend or husband, it's easy for you to communicate with. Yeah, even if um, he speaks Tagalog, it's e still easy. And uh, communication also, it's like really like convenient in terms of social media let's say facebook it's easy because there's no like time difference as well true so language is language barrier is some actually foreigners has a problem with that because you know not all pinais can speak fluent english they can actually do gesture um they can um try to act it out but it's not easy for them to find the language or find the word to to use in order for them to describe what they're thinking some pinais would uh would just be silent because they they don't know what word to use to explain it yes. so um i would say the language is a really big big um issue too Yes, and that's the reason why Pinais would choose Pinois because they, they can easily communicate more and they can um, express their, their feelings right away because they have the same language. Yeah, they, they can also express, um, yeah, like what you said, emo uh, feelings or emotion. And um, as you can notice, guys, that if you have like an arguments with your Filipina, if you're a foreigner and then you have an argument so they could uh for pinay it's hard for them to express. to express or to explain because they can't really speak well they know how to but it's really hard for them to explain it they don't know what's the perfect word to yeah, what's use the right word or uh how she can really explain the situation and um yeah i think communication is really important in a relationship yes true because there are a lot of miscommunication especially mis yeah misinterpretation especially if the filipina thinks that the it was the right word that they're using but it's not and you think that oh why are you like why are you explaining this i don't understand you it's like that Yes, and other than that, in terms of long communication, like you guys are living in a Western country, so there's a time difference and uh, you need to find a way to really communicate and you have to set a time or a schedule to communicate and yeah, you really have to set time. It's uh, the most important. Unlike if um, she has a Pinoy boyfriend, it's easy because we we are in the same uh, country. There's no time difference and there's no language barrier. True. And aside from that, they would just schedule a, a time that they're already vacant. Yes. And the last and not the least, personality. Yes. Personality is, uh, I think it's really understandable because... Uh, mostly we have like same personalities or as like women and men here in the philippines mostly so let's say for example if uh the filipina is really caring also the 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 men or the the man is also caring yeah uh, pinoys you know, pinoys are really caring guys mostly, mostly pinoys so it's just that uh just to happen that um there's some, there's some Pinoys who are uh, res irresponsible and uh, they don't know what would be his obligation. Yeah, there are some, but actually, also, there are also some Pinoys that has the same traits as Pinays. So if you dated a Pinay, it's the same personality. The, the Pinoys are really caring, very loving, they're really affectionate, and the way they they 
take care of their their wives their girlfriends is like the same as Pinay's too like you can really feel the affection and the love coming from them if you're sick they would really give time for you um, they would do the chores everything for you especially if you're really tired they would understand I for, of course my my partner is roger is a pinoy so i would really know the characteristic of a pinoy a responsible pinoy yeah so we're talking about a uh, responsible pinoy yes so um that's the reason or the main reason why pinays are still choosing pinoys in the philippines because of those um, those reasons so first is culture next is distance next is communication and lastly the personality correct so um, I think that would be that would be all for this uh, video so I hope you uh, can get um, an idea why they still choose uh, Pinoy boyfriend or husband or husband thank you so much for watching the video till the end guys thank you thank you so much and thank you for your support see you in our next vlogs bye, bye.